Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie walks through one of the most delicate border regions in the world, the space between South and North Korea, the Demilitarized Zone, or DMZ, the only spot where the two countries have stood face to face since the end of the Korean War. Standing here today, I can see definitely a clear line between both countries, but also a clear line between freedom and oppression. It is indeed a symbol of peace, but also how much peace can be extremely fragile. Her visit comes amidst North Korea's barrage of weapons tests. There have been seven rounds of them in just the last two weeks including one that flew over Japan for the first time in five years. You always have to take these things seriously, uh, but there is a certain predictability of this, uh, of what happens on a Korean peninsula. It's gone on for decades. And uh, of course he, Kim Jong-un is concerned about joint military exercises that have occurred over the past couple months. The North has called the recent two days of naval drills between the US and South Korea provocative. It considers them a rehearsal for an invasion. While the West eyes are turned to what's happening in Ukraine, that that is another component to it is it's North Korea indicating that they are still here, um, that they are still a nuclear country that is to be taken seriously. This that expert he... says Jolie's visit could be a move from Canada to increase diplomacy. For more than 70 years, Canada has been involved in and extremely committed to make sure that this part of the world is peaceful and stable. After visiting these conference rooms famous for peace negotiations, Jolie called on North Korea to return to dialogue and commit to nuclear disarmament. Marina von Stackelberg, CBC News, Ottawa.